I think so. I think the statement made by uh, the President Obama just now uh, has, has really been very encouraging indeed. It doesn't go quite as far as some of us might wish, but it's a, certainly a, a major step down the road. Do you uh, agree with India's uh, Prime Minister Modi, who's asked for climate justice, that curious phrase, but he's basically saying that those countries that have developed, that have uh, become powerful on the back of the use of fossil fuels, should now give more? Yes, but the uh, but President Obama's statement, and certainly the Global Apollo program, which I'm hoping to support, uh, provides exactly that. What we're trying to do is to get the nations together to do the necessary research to get um, the production, transmission and storage of energy from renewable resources cheaper than coal. So that in fact those, generation, those nations which may be developed or under, less developed, that getting their material from coal will now decide to actually move to a, a different source of energy which will be cheaper than the coal on which they're presently relying. You would say, therefore, there is no shortage of energy on, on Earth. There's no shortage of energy from the sun. We use one, if we could have harness one five thousand part of the energy that the sun sprays upon the Earth every 24 hours, we could provide all the energy requirements of the entire human race. One five thousandth part would do that. Well, we are suggesting we get not even that much, but that's what we are suggesting that we should get it straight uh, from renewable resources from the sun. Why have we been so slow then? Why do you think, given everything that science has achieved, we haven't done that? Well, because it's easier to burn a piece of coal. Uh, to, there are scientific problems. I mean, we've solved the major ones of getting the energy in the first place. What we haven't solved them so far is getting it cheaper. That's what we need to do, so that it is cheaper than coal. At the moment, anybody can go out and dig a piece of coal and they can light themselves a fire and get energy that way. But if we can't afford to do that anymore. John Kerry uh, made that statement and said whatever happens here wouldn't, wouldn't be legally binding. Does that matter? Uh, I believe that when the, you look at the, 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 the Obama's statement that the will is there and, and that's the important thing. Uh, you can write all sorts of words on paper but in the end if it's good people of good heart with good will that's what gets things done. So it doesn't really matter that it won't have a, a legal status? Well, I, it would be nicer, of course it would be nicer if we had a legal status, but in fact we hope that it will, the people will abide by these, by these sentiments which have been uh, uh, stated very clearly by the President and which I believe are being stated clearly by the Prime Minister. What would make you punch the air at the end of this summit and say, yes, it, it couldn't have gone any better? What are the words that you want to hear from whom? Um, if, if Obama had added a, a target date and actually also agreed a roadmap, a committee that was going to oversee worldwide scientific research to identify the problems in the chain and to sort out who's going to deal with them. That would have been really the cherry on the cake. So David, thank you very much indeed. Nice to have you on the programme. Yes. Pleasure.